building the Atlantic Coast Pipeline safely while minimizing impacts on landowners and protecting the environment is our number one priority. Pipeline construction is a highly regulated and monitored process that involves different specialized teams performing each step of construction. Hundreds of inspectors are on site every day to help ensure we meet our commitment to environmental stewardship. A comprehensive survey in and adjacent to the right-of-way is completed to identify and mark key existing features and the pipeline centerline. In order to avoid hazards or causing accidental damage during construction, the right-of-way is prepared by clearing vegetation and grading. Measures for mitigating environmental concerns are also implemented. In certain areas, topsoil is temporarily removed from the work area and stockpiled separately. The center line of the pipeline route is then restaked, ready for trench excavation. Depending on the terrain, crews use backhoes or trenching machines to excavate a pipeline trench. The soil that is excavated during these operations is temporarily stockpiled for reuse. Pipe sections are transported from the storage yard to locations along the right-of-way. Once pipe is strung in each section, some of the pipe will be bent to conform to topography or follow curves in the route. Welding and coating connect sections of pipe together into one continuous length. The welds are recorded and then inspected using X-ray technology for quality assurance, and then coated to deter pipeline corrosion. Operators lift the pipe and carefully lower the welded sections into the trench. In certain areas, the pipe is padded with a layer of soft, fine soil to protect the pipe from damage from rocky subsoil. The location and depth of the pipeline section is then surveyed for as-built records. The trench is then backfilled with the original subsoil material and the right-of-way is graded to its final contour. Before the pipeline is put into service, a final inspection involves a hydrostatic pressure test to ensure the integrity of the pipe. The right-of-way and other disturbed areas are then restored by replacing and stabilizing the topsoil, general cleanup, and returning the land as closely as possible to its original condition. A seating mix is applied mechanically and the right-of-way is mulched with straw. Regulators maintain strict watch over the regrowth of vegetation long after the pipe is in the ground. We are committed to building the Atlantic Coast Pipeline safely and responsibly in a way that is protective of our environment with the strongest focus on quality and respect for the communities we serve.